Hey doll fans, Maiden Trollblood here again. And I have been trying my darndest to get the lighting right in here. The lighting has been terrible in my last few videos. Way too bright. I think it's because I've been doing my videos later in the day. But, um, I think I got it. <laughs> I think it's gonna be okay now. So anyway, uh, I want to show you guys what I've been doing. This is a box that I have put together for my Dollzone Raymond, who is um, coming. <laughs> he's not he's not on his way yet, but he's been ordered, and I'm so excited. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done such a thing for a doll because I, I really have strong ideas about this doll. Usually, I just order one and I order one, and then I some I usually don't have very much plans for what I'm gonna do with them. I just I just think oh, I'm gonna get the doll, that's it, and then I go from there after the doll comes. But this time I have big ideas, and I have been collecting stuff for customizing this doll, <laughs> and I call it the doll hope chest. By the way, uh, in case you don't know what a hope chest is, I live in uh, in the South in the United States. I live in the South where, you know, we're all Southern down here. <laughs> we're like, you know, and um, uh, in the in the South at least, maybe other places too. I don't know where else people do this, but but uh, young girls, young maidens, uh, when when uh, I guess since they're maybe since they're born or since they're a kid. Um, they will have like a, a wooden box. It's usually made of cedar to keep the moths out. And um, it's called a hope chest. And what they do is they put like things for their married, future married life into the hope chest. Like, I guess, I guess they'll probably put their wedding dress stuff in there. Or they'll put quilts for their future life in their new home when they get married. Um, you know, dishes maybe, it's just like, um, they're collecting stuff for their future life as a married woman. So <laughs> it's, um, that's uh, what they do. So in the same way, I'm collecting stuff for my future doll. <laughs> so that's what I call it. You know, you can call it what you want. I'll show you what I have in my doll hope chest. I... I don't know if it's complete. I guess the, I have the main, all the main things that I need right now. Anything else that I put in there is going to be extra. If you wanted to do this, this is a very fun thing to do while waiting for your doll. If you have a lot of stuff that you want to buy for this particular doll, you can put it together in a box. You can make the box, like, fancy. Like, imagine how fun that would be. You can decorate the box, <laughs> or you can buy a box that's already pretty for your special doll, or you can be lazy like me and just put it in one of these. <laughs> so, let's see what I have in this doll. All right. This is um, Signet, by the way. She's got some flyaway hairs that bug me. So, that, there you go. This is Signet. She's so pretty. I just wanted to show her, and, you know, so you have something to look at. Here's my wig. It is the Leak World wig that you saw me open in the last video. It's a, it's, just, it's one of the limited uh, color beige, you know, limited color that's not on sale anymore. It's the style MR041. So there it is. I don't know if I'm going to bother taking it out of the package because I don't want this video to go too long. So I put his, his wig is in his hope chest. So there you go. Next I have... I'll just show you this. It's a it's a rabbit pelt. At the store, when I saw the color I wanted, which I wanted gray, I had to just jump on it and just grab it because, you know, like because rabbits are so unique and <laughs> and personal and cute and fuzzy. <laughs> anyway, um, you know they. You get you don't know what color the store is gonna have next. So if you want a color, you gotta grab it right then and there. And I wanted gray because I'm going to let this line my Raymond doll's cloak. He's gonna wear fur. Yep. 
Sorry if that seems cruel. Uh, yeah, I'm a person who uses leather, leather products and stuff like that, you know. I'm an animal lover, but at the same time, I don't mind, like, using the animals, because cavemen did it, so why not? Anyway, um, this is a pendant that I bought, and don't worry, it's not a real animal product. <laughs> But it's a little metal uh, crow skull or raven skull or something like that. I don't know. It's made of base metal or something. It's not really... It's not expensive. I got it off eBay. What I liked about it was that y the chain can be looped through the hole, a hole here in the skull. And it doesn't have like an extra ring thing on top of it, which stands out. It looks kind of natural. I'm going to put this on Raymond's belt. He's going to have a lot of gothic looking evil sort of trinkets hanging from his belt. And I figured a bird skull would just look totally cool. <laughs> so I got that. This only cost like, it literally cost like two dollars or something on eBay. It didn't cost anything. Normally I like to get like real metals like silver. But the silver bird skull pendants were way too much. I just couldn't afford 30 or 40 dollars for one of those. Not right now. All right. Okay. Right, here's another. Here's, this. This was made from a real animal. I apologize, but whatever. I'm an artist, so I don't know. I like to use natural things. This is a. Um, it's a muskrat jaw. And the thing about the muskrat jaw is that uh, I just love their shape so much. It just has a really beautiful, elegant shape to it. It's just, just look, it's just art. It, it's just, you know, like art made by God <laughs> because it's a natural bone thing. And this is the muskrat's front tooth, you know, and um, and these are its jaw teeth. You got it right there. This is a, a beautiful, clean, nice specimen that I got from Etsy. And I believe the seller was called Kevin Trade Goods. I can put it in the description if you want to know. I got a package of four of them and uh, I just I just really like muskrat jaws they're one of like one of the first bones that I think about when I think about using bones to make something decorative I've got I've already got some on earrings because uh, they're just so artistic this is my first Etsy purchase by the way okay this, this is just a spool of ribbon. It's like really, really thin, practically string, and I just figured that would be useful. So that's my string object that I'll probably be using to lace up his shoes or something. <clears throat> this is, I, as I understand it, these are emerald beads. And I got them off eBay, and they didn't cost very much, but I did have to bid for them and beat somebody and, you know, snipe them out. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I sniped these, because that's what I do. That's what you do. If you, want, if you want to win something on eBay, you got to be there at the end, otherwise you're not going to win it. That's, you know, I hear people, like, complaining about that, but that's just the way it is. What do you think people are doing at, like, like in, in, at an in-person auction? But anyway, um, yeah, they're cheap because uh, I guess they're just from a less pricey part of the rock. But they are beautiful. I like how they're marbled. And apparently those are emeralds. I'm just going to take the seller's word for it. <laughs> so, okay, emerald beads for my raven. Only the best for my dolls. And my bird's talking to me. 
<laughs> he likes to be in on the conversation. And this is similar. This is a ruby. I understand it's a ruby. I am told it's a ruby. And if it's not, who cares? <laughs> but boy, they're pretty red beads, aren't they? So, yep, same, same story. eBay. And this I actually got from the store from Hobby Lobby. These are blue. And they're actually river shell beads. But they're nice marbly blue, kind of like the green emerald beans, beads, beads. And um, so I like the combination of red, blue, and green. <laughs> red, blue, and green. I was hoping that, you know, I could come up with some pretty cool. I'm going to like dangle all this stuff off his belt and make some sort of beautiful jewelry thing. And um. This is a piece of leather that I set aside and it's like the coolest, one of the coolest piece of, pieces of leather that I've come across. I like to buy scraps of it. It's real. I buy scraps that are like left over from a factory or something. So, so I never know what I'm going to get. I buy these uh, grab bags and sometimes you don't even know what's in there. <laughs> this was like hidden in there. I couldn't even see it. So yeah, I bought it. That's all I got as far as that color goes, but it's so cool. I'm gonna use it for my Raymond doll. And the last object that I have in my Raymond's Hope chest is totally random. And I don't know why I bought it. I don't know if I'm gonna get any use out of this thing, but it was like an impulse eBay buy. And here it is. It's apparently hand carved. It's an image of a snake about to eat a woman. <laughs> it just reminds me of the evil Raymond's character. <laughs> so, so there it is. It's a gothic snake eating woman. <laughs> and it's made of jasper, apparently. Ribbon jasper. I think that's why they call it that. Um, it's not very pretty in color though. But... But you can see the image better than than on the another stone that they had available. So there you go. That's that's all I got as far as his hope chest. I'm putting this character together. I'm collecting all the stuff I'm gonna need. Yeah, this obviously it's not gonna be hanging off the doll because it's huge. This is like a pendant that you're supposed to wear as a necklace. So I don't know if I don't get rid of it. Because I don't even know why I bought it. It's just the, the image just just reminded me of the character. But maybe I could put it on one of his, like a piece of furniture or something that that might be one of his props. I don't know. So that is all. That is all we have for Raymond's hope chest. Sorry if I offended anybody with my real bones. But, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> Let's put it all back. And I thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, I encourage other people to copy me and, and uh, make a hope chest of your own. It's kind of neat, you know, just to see what kind of weird, weird stuff that we got in there. Show us, show us what you're planning, what your plans are for your new upcoming dolls. And I'm gonna stop talking now because the video is running a little long and I try not to be long-winded. I don't want to be, I swear. And my bird says goodbye. And I want to know who stole my sandwich.